Who are some of the famous brothers that have played in the NFL? Peyton and Eli, Shannon and Sterling Sharp, Tiki and Rondé Barber, and the list goes on. These siblings have to be ultra competitive to get into the NFL, let alone stand out from their brother. Sometimes these sibling rivalries in the NFL can sometimes get a bit heated. There are even times when the younger brother is a lot better than the older one, or even just by a little bit. There's been a long list of examples where the older brother reigns supreme in the NFL. Peyton Manning went 3-0 against Eli. John Harbaugh's Baltimore Ravens beat Jim San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl 47. But if you're the younger brother in a football family, don't be discouraged. There are several NCAA prospects and current NFL stars that at least we believe either are or will be better than their older brothers. Before we get started, if you could smash that like button and subscribe button below to let us know that you like this type of content and suggest what kind of video you'd like us to make in the future. Number one on our list is Nick Bosa. Nick and Joey, who are separated by two years, are both among the NFL's top defensive ends. The brothers both played at Ohio State. They combined to win the Smith-Brown Defensive Lineman of the Year Award three times with Joey taking it in 2014 and 2015 and Nick in 2017. Now being the older brother, Joey has obviously had the more accomplished career thus far. He was drafted third overall by the San Diego Chargers in 2016, while Nick was taken second overall three years later by the 49ers. But Nick has had a slightly higher upside. And the early guess here is that when it's all said and done, he'll be viewed as having the better career. I mean, the dude recorded nine sacks en route to a Defensive Rookie of the Year honors and a Super Bowl 54 appearance in his first season. This first season, unfortunately, he suffered a season-ending ACL tear in Week 2 of 2020. These two brothers will likely be battling the Watt brothers for a title as the greatest brotherly duo in NFL history. And in our opinion, it'll be Nick and TJ leading the way for their respective families. Kalen Newton The younger brother of Cam played quarterback at Howard University in 2018-2019. Like his older brother, Kalen played as a dual-threat quarterback. In the 2018 season, Newton threw for 2,610 yards and 22 touchdowns to go along with his 555 yards and four rushing touchdowns. Newton ultimately decided to transfer to Auburn, where older brother Cam led them to a national championship and won a Heisman. Kalen also switched positions to receiver. Kalen, who was 10 years younger than the 2015 NFL MVP, should catch the eyes of several scouts thanks to his versatility in all-around athleticism. The 5'11 wideout ran a 4.81 40-yard dash in high school per ESPN. We could already envision Kalen being better than his older brother. Yeah, it's hard to compare a quarterback to a wide receiver, but Kalen has most of the tools you look for in a top-tier wide receiver. And if he finds the right team, we could see him grow into a perennial Pro Bowl talent. On a side note, how awesome would it be to see Cam and Kalen play on the same team? That is, if someone could pick up Cam. <coughs> Washington. Next on our list, we got TJ Watt. TJ's rise to stardom basically started when JJ began to experience a decline in production. Age and injuries have unfortunately taken a toll on the 2012, 2014, and 2015 Defensive Player of the Year, whereas TJ now finds himself in the mix for that award on an annual basis. No active defensive player has a better resume than JJ. So here's the thing, the younger Watt brother is presently better than JJ, but if they were both to retire today, one would be a surefire Hall of Famer and the other wouldn't. In addition to those three DPOY awards, the five-time Pro Bowler and five-time First All-Team Pro is part of the 100 Sack Club, and he was named to the 2010s All-Decade Team. That's a heck of a lot of accomplishments, but if TJ stays healthy, he could very well put together a better career than his brother, especially with his ability to punch the ball out of players. I mean, the Pittsburgh Steelers star racked up 42.5 sacks from 2018 to 2020, along with 16 forced fumbles. That's kind of ridiculous. If it weren't for Aaron Donald, Watt would have to be the 2020 Defensive Player of the Year. Yeah, he'll have some tough competition for the award for many years, but TJ is already on a Hall of Fame trajectory, just like his older brother who will be viewed as the superior Watt 10 to 15 years from now. Only time will tell, but currently speaking, TJ is questionably the better football player, and that has been the case for a few years now. Brett Gabbert Gabbard is the starting quarterback of the Miami Redhawks. His older brother, Blaine, has been a solid backup throughout the bulk of his career. Drafted 10th overall by the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2011, Gavin has never really cut it as a starter. However, he technically reached the mountaintop by winning Super Bowl 55 with the Tampa Bay Bucks and Tom Brady's backup, so there's that. As for Brett, his eyes are on the 2023 or 2024 NFL Draft. He showed promise in his 2019 freshman season throwing for 2,411 yards and 11 touchdowns against 8 picks. The 2020 season was shortened because of the pandemic, but he had 4 touchdowns with 0 interceptions in 2 appearances. There's obviously some work to do, but if Brett makes it to the NFL, it shouldn't take a whole lot for him to outshine his brother Blaine. The latter never won more than four starts in a season, and the 12 touchdown passes from his 2011 rookie year remain a career high. But if Brett starts for just one NFL season, he just might assert himself as the better Gabbert brother. 
You have to like what you've seen so far from Brett in the early going, and we wouldn't be shocked if he's one of the first quarterbacks taken off the board in the 2023 draft, just like his older brother. Dylan McCaffrey Dylan is the younger brother to Carolina Panthers superstar running back Christian McCaffrey. Their father Ed was a standout wide receiver for the Denver Broncos, and he played a prominent role in their back-to-back -back Super Bowl 32 and 33 championship teams. And he's now the head coach of the Northern Colorado Bears football team. The younger of the McCaffrey brothers was the backup quarterback for the Michigan Wolverines in 2018 and 2019. He opted out of the 2020 season because of the COVID-19 pandemic, and he wound up transferring over to Northern Colorado. That's right, his father will be the head coach. McCaffrey was previously listed as an ESPN 300 recruit. You haven't seen him take off yet, but McCaffrey will finally get the chance to shine in 2021. Just think about some of the successful college players that have transferred schools just like Justin Fields and Joe Burrow. There are some late bloomer quarterbacks at the collegiate level, and we could see the younger McCaffrey being another one of them. McCaffrey has turned heads with his incredible speed and mobility, which always stands out to the NFL scouts. If all goes according to plan, he'll be a hot quarterback prospect in the 2022 draft, and we could totally see him piecing together a better career than his older brother and his father. Alec Lindstrom is the younger brother of Atlanta Falcons guard Chris Lindstrom, who also played at Boston College. The elder Lindstrom was drafted 14th overall by the Falcons in 2019. Chris has been an above-average starter on Atlanta's offensive line, but there's definitely room for improvement. But younger brother Alec is widely viewed as one of the top centers for the 2020 draft class. Some experts view him as the number one or two center prospect. While Chris figures to be a solid long-term starter, his brother has the potential to be a perennial pro bowler. He might not get that first-round pick, but Lindstrom shouldn't have to wait too long to hear his name called. And if he joins the right team and system, he could totally develop into a better player than his older brother. Up next, we have Sterling Lockett. Sterling is the brother of Seattle Seahawks Pro Bowl wideout Tyler Lockett. The younger Lockett committed to Kansas State, the same school that Tyler attended for 2022. Both Lockett's are listed at 5'10", though Tyler has about 30 pounds on Sterling. Nonetheless, the future Kansas State wide receiver has a similar skill set to his brother, and a few years down the road, who knows? Sterling might turn out to be even better than his brother. We obviously won't find out for a few years. Sterling is listed as a three-star recruit by 24-7 Sports. That's the same rating they gave Tyler, who turned out to be a big-time draft steal being taken 69th overall by the Seattle Seahawks in 2015. We could already see Sterling develop into a star receiver in the NFL someday. You heard it here first. Tremaine Edmonds There are three Edmond brothers in the NFL. The eldest, Trey, signed with the New Orleans Saints in 2017. After going undrafted, he later joined the Pittsburgh Steelers, who used him sparingly as a running back. Terrell, the second oldest, is a safety who was drafted 28th overall by the Steelers in 2018. But it's Tremaine, the youngest brother, who has put together the best NFL career thus far. Tremaine was drafted 16th overall by the Buffalo Bills in 2016. This marked the first time in NFL history where two brothers were first-round picks in the same draft class. Terrell has been a solid starting safety for Pittsburgh, but Tremaine has been rapidly growing into one of the NFL's best linebackers. He earned Pro Bowl nods in the 2019 and 2020 season. He anchored one of the league's stingiest defenses in Tremaine, one year younger than Terrell and four years younger than Trey, is only going to get better from here. There's still time for his brothers to improve their resumes, but for now, Tremaine has been the best football player of the three. Talia Tagavaloa Tua, the former Alabama superstar and current starting quarterback for the Miami Dolphins, might not be the only one in the Tagovailoa family to turn professional. Talia was a backup to Tua and Mac Jones in his freshman season at Alabama. In three game appearances, Talia completed 9 of 12 pass attempts for 100 yards and a touchdown. Knowing that he wouldn't unseat Jones as the starter, Talia transferred to Maryland for his sophomore season following the Tides coach Mike Loxley. Due to the pandemic, the Terrapins played just five games, so we got a limited look at Talia in 2020. He had 1,011 yards and seven touchdowns with as many picks and four outings. But the hype on Talia is fairly high. I mean, Alabama brought him in for a reason. The four-star recruit has a skill set that is awfully similar to his brother's, and we should get a full look at his abilities during the 2021 season. If his development goes according to plan, he could very well end up being better than his brother. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we get to see several Tagovailoa bowls in the NFL down the road. Troy Warner San Francisco 49ers star Fred Warner has already established himself as a top-tier linebacker, so just imagine how good his brother Troy might be. Just consider some comments that Fred made about his younger brother. Troy, you know, um, you know, he's he's been having a great senior year over at BYU, and, um, you know, he's the... He's the more talented brother in the family when it comes to football. I'm excited to see how he finishes out the season and obviously going to the next level. Um, you know, he's an outstanding player, so the sky's the limit. 
strong praise from Fred, the 2020 First Team All-Pro, and the backbone of the San Francisco 49ers defense. Troy went undrafted, but he signed with the NFC West rival Los Angeles Rams in the 2021 offseason. Troy's in good hands because this Rams organization under Sean McVay has developed several sleepers and turned them into solid players. Don't be surprised if McVay and the Ram coaches find a way to turn Troy into a top-notch All-Pro linebacker. That's all we got for today, folks. What other NFL players are or will be better than their older brother? If you liked the video, go ahead and click that like button. And don't forget to let us know what you thought about the video down below. Until next time.